This is cycle one, week 20, Greek composer, Georgia George Friedrich Handel. This week we are going to learn about Handel. You might want to review last week about the Vidaldi and see if any of it makes you remember what they learned about him and what kind of artist he was and what style we're learning about this um, quarter. The answers are Baroque and Classical. We have not gotten to Classical yet, we're still in the Baroque style, and Handel is also a Baroque uh, composer. So we have that five minute Mozart. Again, this is two minutes long. Um, it's a, I would highly advise watching it. It's very quick, but it gives a good, quick summary of his life. And then um, just his quick uh, three facts to take away so the kids can remember something rather than nothing about him. Um, he was German and his family wanted him to be a doctor. Um, so he actually studied that, but he studied music at night. So he was still honoring his parents, but he was doing his own wishes um, as well. He created over 40 operas in 30 years. Most of these composers that are composing created two, three, four in their lifetime. So um, that was pretty uh, impressive. And his, um, okay, so this is kind of cool. His composition was, the title of it is The Arrival of the Queen of Sheba. And it was actually used at the 2012 Olympic opening ceremonies. And I have a link to show you. It's six minutes long, so you're going to need to, obviously, the, the whole opera or composition is very long. This clip is six minutes. You might want to show one or two minutes. Um, but it's still used, so it's cool that even today we're using these people's, um, these great artists' works, composers. Um, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so today we're going to make these things called castanets, and um, I will put in here, oh, here is Handel. You guys can show your class what he looked like. And I will show um, some of you might have these at home in some of your kids' um, music stuff. They're the, oh, they're like this, but they look a lot better. I will have a picture of what they actually look like in your notes so you can show the kids. We're going to make homemade ones today, and they can be kind of fun, and they're really cute, and they work really well. So each um, kid is going to need a template, and you're going to get this paper from me it's going to have some templates on it, and then either you need to cut them out, depending on your kid's ability, or you can just bring them and your kids can cut them out. And then you'll need some of this tacky glue. You'll have one bottle of it. And you will get washers. I use bottle caps, but for a PG level, we are going to use washers. Um, so you'll have those. You will need your scissors. You will need um, two googly eyes per child and um, a big piece of cardboard. Enough that each child can cut out one um, castanet or one template. So what you're gonna start with is kids are either, kids are gonna either cut out their template or you're, they're going to be cut out for you. So you're gonna cut out your template. Then you're going to trace it onto your cardboard and cut it out. So it's going to look like this. And then you need an adult to score the back of it. So you can see how I kind of um, pre-scored that. And you can just use um, a sharper scissors or an X-Acto knife or something like that. Um, I just used these scissors and they worked fine. Kid scissors probably aren't gonna work as well. The reason that we score it is that it will fold a lot easier and you'll, you tell it where to fold versus it just folding um, wherever it wants and then it's not as easy. Then we're going to use some tacky glue and you're going to, the first one's easy. You're just gonna put that one, put the washer down wherever. The second one, you need to actually put the glue, I'll just take this one off. You need to put the glue on the back of the washer put it right side up on that one and then fold it down and have kids count to 60 or one minute or whatever. But we do that so they can actually line up because um, you don't want them to not line up and then they won't 
hit each other and not make a sound. So that's how you're going to do it. You're going to hold on to it. I need to hold on to this for a second. This one shows, I'm going to show you my picture, those googly eyes on top and then some, I think they use paint, we're just gonna use markers or washi tape or stickers or whatever you kinda of wanna bring in just to let them decorate. There are some really cute ones if you want to pull those off the internet. There are some that have little spikes. I do little um, teeth on mine and all you need to do for that is if you just take a sheet of paper and you cut it in half, but you zigzag the halves, won't do the whole thing but then you'll have teeth for both sides again use the tacky glue the reason we're using this glue this week is because it's just extra sticky onto cardboard um, it is a it can get a little bit messy but it will look really cute with the eyes on top and the colored in and it makes your sound like that we are going to listen to water music suite number two while we're listening to it and then we're gonna listen to it again probably just a little shorter version of it and try to play um, your castanet with the orchestra. Um, 